Probably. Please let me go. Please let me know. All right. Anyway, now we have Gibbous versus Mistake. Oh, yeah. High profile match for the night. Mm -hmm. If y'all don't know, Mistake and Abba are still staying here for the for the weekly. Yeah, I think they're leaving tomorrow though, so mm -hmm. they're looking, you know, take this this crisp shockwave money before they get out of town. Mm -hmm. But Gibbous has something to say about that. He's already yeah. started off with a quick 67, putting on a ton of damage. A super strong start to a winner's quarters here, and that was a very, very nice shadow sneak. Okay. Yeah. A read on the oh. air dodge. He had been getting a couple of them. You know, at the start, he got the up throw air dodge read into the forward air. Mm. Yeah, he was looking for that up smash there. Did not connect. Mistake came down a little bit too fast for him, but mm. okay. Mistake learning from his mistakes, not going <laughs> for the air dodge again. Yeah, no, not going to fall prey to that one. Give us once again going for that down throw to forward are not gonna connect though. It is still a 50-50, so Mistake knows that he can risk it. Yeah. Okay, again going for that up air. He's starting or uh, up smash. He's starting to get a little bit hungry for it. So that shadow sneak out of the witch twist. What the heck? What? <laughs> that <laughs> okay. was kinda cool. It was great that Gibbous moved away so we didn't get caught in the witch time. Uh, huh. I guess Hydro Pump does have a witch timeable hitbox. Yeah. It does like one or two percent. Whoa. That was great. That was pretty cool. Great way to alleviate the pressure. Return the edge guard. And so that shot, that uh, side beat is going to come in clutch. That full charge. Water Shuriken, though. Not going to get too much for him. I feel like it's important to note, Gibbous has taken a set off of Lima before. The set counts heavily in Lima's favor. Oh, yeah. But the one set that he took off of Lima was when Lima got aggressive and started going at him. Mm -hmm. Lima took it back when he started planking. And Mistake um, may be one of the more aggressive Bayonettas out of the top five or top four Bayos. Mm -hmm. That's definitely what I've been seeing here. He's been going in and trying to make stuff happen. That tech was so clean from Gibbous, but... Ooh, accidentally getting the pivot grab there. Not going to get a punish, but Gibbous is still living for yep. a oh, great low goodness. recovery. Not getting clipped by the Nair, and Gibbous still building percent on this stock. Okay, that loses up smash. <laughs> loses it at like 185, but... I mean, 185, nothing to frown about. You got 51 free percent while you're up, so it's fine. And now with no rage, his up throw connects a little bit better, so he gets even more of those up airs. All the okay. shadow sneaks punishes the grab there. Mistake probably thought that Gibbous would land with a little more lag. Uh, might not have a local Greninja to learn the minutia of the matchup. Yeah, that's most likely the case, but right now Gibbous is kind of teaching the matchup whether he likes it or not. Probably the most rough way to do so. Uh-oh, this is going to go off the top, though, and yeah, Mistake... That. Give us not able to SDI down, not finding the shadow sneak out of it. Bayonetta just does weird things. She was behind by so much. I mean, Give us was a, a cool 60%. Yeah. He yeah. definitely could have died to a number of things there. For sure. Well, I mean, she did have the rage as well, but even still, it was rough. Okay, my bad. They do have a local uh, Greninja player. I don't know everything about every scene that's not us, but I feel yeah. like it's important. For the VODs, at least, to let people know that Mistake does have JW, the Greninja, to oh, play with. True. Yeah, yeah. Mistake's also a Wi-Fi warrior, so I'd be surprised if there was a matchup he wasn't super familiar with. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to get a little bit of everything on Wi-Fi, but... Right yeah, there, now. he did punish the Shadow Sneak onto the platform with more up airs, got to connect some more, and now he is building a huge lead. So, give us counter pick to Town and City. I don't know what he's thinking. This is a pretty bad stage counter pick too, and that S-Mash not going to do it. can be very close though. One of Mistake's favorite setups from what I've seen, that fair one low to the ground, uh, so he lands relatively quickly afterwards and he sets up for the forward smash. It can set people up so that they have to tech sometimes uh, at lower percents and at higher percents. It doesn't send them very far, so it's really uh, tricky what to do in that situation. Mistake is a genius. He's not making any mistakes so far this game. He's making a few last game, but I'm not going to continue that trend. Wow, barely missing that back air. He had the right placement, but just a little bit too early. Give us delaying his recovery. Yeah, just slightly, and that's all that mattered there. But 33% to 124. Give us has to start doing something here with all this rage. Oh, this is going to be in a very, very bad spot. And, well, back air's not going to connect. Give us was able to escape, but he's looking <laughs> rough. That oh short <laughs> hop down there at the ledge <laughs> caught Give us slipping. Uh oh, and, is Gibbous oh gonna my. die for this. I've said no. this so many times now. When you're okay. up against a Bayonetta and you just spawn from the Angel platform, you gotta be very careful about just throwing out an attack because lo Bayonettas love to just witch time there. And it eats up all of your invincibility as well as gives her a free combo. Yeah, Takes I mean, away one of your huge advantages. Yeah, she's already back up in percent after she lapped Gibbous and Another witch time Jeez, could be the end this? right here. Oh, okay. not going to get the down tilt. The aerial set, down tilt. Yeah, aerial set too high so he couldn't go for a smash attack, and he wasn't quite able to catch Gibbous in time for a bigger follow-up. Mm. 
Okay, right now, though, Gibbous looking for a very big follow-up. That up smash going to do the juke. On town and city, absolutely. Now Gibbous does have some rage. Okay, burning that witch time. Uh, it's unfortunate because it just makes it a little bit shorter every time you use it. Mm. Uh, 106 to 18. Mistake is sitting very, very comfortably, to say the least. One okay. strong move can send Gibbous into space. Throwing out those back airs. Even though Greninja is a very low to the ground character, that back air will still hit low the way that Mistake is spacing them. So Gibbous has to be very careful. Gibbous going low with that up air, but down tilt not going to lead into the back air that Mistake was looking for, but look at that one. Eventually finding it does take out Gibbous and move on in the bracket. Yeah. So we see a 2-0 from Mistake mm -hmm. uh, going into it. Just I mean, a little bit quarters. of warming up. Yeah, it's, it's that quarters. Game. It's doable. It's doable mistake just showing I'm top four bayonet in the world. I believe he's seated to play Phi and semis. So if yes. Phi makes it to him, that's going to be an exciting set. It really will. I feel like Phi uh, understands the matchup relatively well. I mean, he's one of the few people who's taken a set off of Lima when Lima was trying recently. Yeah, I believe at the most recent Shockwave before LTC, mm -hmm. he was able to take it. Yes, yeah, yeah. So. Lima has yet to uh, come back to Shockwave and show him what's up. But no. Lima, not here tonight. A little bit scared, I yeah. feel. <laughs> that or a flight to Smash Con. One of the two. <laughs> it's likely the flight to Smash Con. I don't think Lima's scared of anything. No, I don't. Especially, especially not in DFW. Unfortunately, not in DFW. I wish we could scare him in DFW, but. If I, if I might have taken him once. But Lima, Lima's the kind of person who actually like will go back and study things. Yeah. Uh, he has Coach Zeke. Mm -hmm. to uh, help him look over things, and he, he figures out a game plan when something's not working for him. There's a reason why Lima went from being our number two HM to number one in Texas uh, in the span of two seasons. It's not because he just got good by sitting around doing nothing. He studied every match he won or lost. He, he was with the coach. He practices all the time. Wi-Fi warrior. Yeah. He oftentimes doesn't go to, like, land tournaments and he'd rather sign up for online tournaments or play like online more because mm. there's going to be more top players, probably bigger numbers at yeah, some of them. You do get a lot of good practice on Wi-Fi. Yeah. If you have good Wi-Fi and you uh, are willing to deal with the Wi-Fi, mm. it can get you a lot of good experience. You'll level up real quick. So these guys have not played yet. Holding up bracket. My boy Abadongo and Shucky are about to go at it, though. Looks like we're going to see the Bayonetta come out from Abadongo, possibly. No. Oh. He has been going Bayonetta mm -hmm. in bracket at least game one so far from what I've seen. Okay. Uh, maybe just trying to get some more experience with it. 